Hey guys, this is a Magic Comics here. Um, today I will be talking about my cards. Um, you know, I just want to take a quick break out. I mean, a quick break, and you know, and talk about my cards, basically, like the true. Um, you know, like a lot of people um, in life. I'm gonna say a lot of people in life take the I guess the mentality, the bad guy mentality, a little bit too seriously. Like, um, sometimes I really do get sick and tired of, you know, the, I don't know, all the, like, the, the, the negative, I wouldn't even call it negative, just douchebag thinking. You know, like, to be honest, like, you know, I tried to show my cards off today. I mean, yesterday. And um, I kind of got like this horrible, horrible, um, like, response back from it. And, you know, like, to be honest, is that everything's not perfect. I know everything's not perfect. Um, you know, like, my card game is very it's hard for me to even get out there to show people like how to even play my card game and another thing is too is that i gotta really stop trying to go to people that's not like card game people as well you know and it it, it just didn't go as well as you know like it was it, it was like you could tell that it was a little bit more douchebaggish talk than actual trying to give me advice because you know I was going to that person for advice and the advice they gave me I you know I can understand I understand you know like criticism but it's a difference between criticism and just flat out just being a complete douchebag and stuff like that, you know, to the point to where it was like, they said, like, don't even, like, I hate to see you do well, I mean, I, you could build a good TCG game, and then nobody still would like it, you know, like, okay, like, that was just, you know, that was just a douchebag response that um, I really wasn't, like, too fond of. It took me, like, overnight to process everything that happened. Um, but, the you know, my cards are considered, I think my cards are incredible. And I think I'm trying to do something that, I, you know, like, I give it to A Drive too. A Drive is another guy. Like I take inspiration from that guy as well because he's an upcoming TCG player as I mean creator as well. And I'm glad that he's having so much um, positivity um, because like right now I'm having like crap. Like and you know like it's and I didn't think my game was that bad. Like. Um, you know, a lot of things, too, like, I do got to talk about this, like, let's talk about the point system, right? Um, my point system is called the mark system, okay? And a lot of people think that it's cumbersome, I guess. Some people think that as well. Not everybody. These, these, you know, the guy that I went to for advice, just straight, like, I don't know, like, it, it, it was just different. But anyways, though, my point system is called the mark system, right? And what these mark do, you, you gain a mark every time on your draw phase. And then, um, like, this card is a master art card. So this card costs five marks to play. And you might think, well, that does cost a lot. So that means it takes five, five turns to play this card. Well... And again, first of all, this card is like the strongest card in the game, first of all. Like, Jen is, Jen the Battle Angel is one of the strongest cards in the game. For two, um, I have other cards out there that help 
like that gains you marks and stuff like that. Like it was to the point that they wasn't really even trying to like the guy that I went to wasn't even trying to really play. He was just just destroying my game for what reason I don't I don't even know. Like I'm already having a hard time myself, like getting a team up to you know like because I really do want a team for we can move forward with this because I'm planning on one day having these cards like I want to see these cards being graded by PSA you know I want to look at YouTube and see other people talking about these cards um and these cards aren't I didn't make these cards to be some kind of just like little side job or you know, just get a few bucks in my pocket. I really made these cars to try to last for a really, really long time. I'm talking about for people can collect them in a binders and stuff like that. Like, I mean, when you look at this card, this is Jen. She looks awesome. Looks completely awesome. And then, you know, like the backlash was, uh, you know, that was one of the backlashes. So I'm sorry, but this is going to be a little bit of a long video, guys. And um, another thing that a lot of people, um, I guess, like some people that really don't under don't like about it, my game, is that it has the attack uh, HP and speed on there. And um, when you attack a person based directly, you actually use the mark. Like everybody that does five, like if you got um, this mark right here in the master arc. It does three points of damage to your uh, opponent's base. Um, you know, like, because I didn't have, I don't have, like, it's not like Lugio where you have, like, life points where you have, like, 8,000 or something like that. Um, my base points are 20 points. So I had to break it down somehow. I had to break it down somehow to use the, you know, like, to be able to attack a base directly. You know, like to be able to attack a base directly, I had to put in some kind of system there because these it would be redundant, I guess, if I was to say, Oh, yeah, since this got 450 attack, every hundred attack does one point of damage. I mean, I could have said that, but it's just a lot easier to just say, like, every master card does. Um, three points of damage, you know, and they were just like, I don't know, like it's, it's a few other things that, you know, a lot of people, you know, I mean, not a lot of people, it's just stuff that you have to learn. Like, I guess like, cause I know I created the game and I learned it, but at the same time, I also learned it, you know, it wasn't like something like now I have to keep a, a test sheet around, to always know like once you learn it you will know it you know it's just one of the things that you have to have to uh kind of learn and yeah you do have to learn it and i'm sorry for making a game some things in my game i you know it, it, that's how you can tell i guess that it's original i'm i'm guessing is because it's something new that you have to learn about my game you can't just pick it up off another game and just uh, understand how it works you have to specifically play my game. I mean, you have to specifically, yeah, play my game to understand how these orbs work. So this orb right here means, you know, like battle effect. So, you know, like if your, if your car has a battle effect, it will have this orb there. So that means that it would give you reason to read this text on a um on a card because if, if it if it didn't have an ord right there i mean it wouldn't have any text either but you get what i'm saying like um that's why that's there for another thing that's there for i mean this or this means divine card right here this is like divine cards are one of the is the strongest um type of class in my in my game in my trading card game and the rest is like kind of explanatory, I guess. Like um, up here, 
this also means divine up here because that's just like I make extra I made extra um ways to tell like what a card is on my on my card like you see like how this is like say warrior like um I put that there because at first I had like this class like it was very small and that's another thing too like um when I was doing this like I kept trying to show them like my card that I was working on that I was upgrading like they kept looking at my pre prototypes and judging my pre prototypes and you know I'm I kept trying to tell them that those are were the pre prototypes and these are the prototypes so these are closer to the actual finished product and you know like my pre prototypes yeah you really couldn't see nothing on them but you Y'all guys got to understand, that's what was my first idea. You know, like, that was my first idea. That wasn't, like, an idea that, um, that I, you know, that's when I first started. So, this is more of the idea now. Like, it's getting closer to how they look now. So, this is a picture of, of now. And, actually, that's not even a picture of the actual now uh, thing. Um, I want to show y'all guys... Let me see if I can find it. Hold on right quick. Yeah. Hi, guys. Don't worry. I got the cards in my hand right now. Just give me a moment. and say give me a minute. Okay, guys. Hi. Welcome back. Um, my bad. I had to find some stuff and do some stuff like that. But, um, so, I'm about to tell y'all guys how it, how it goes. Like, um, okay. So, this was the pre-prototypes. I'm going to show you this. This is the pre-prototypes. So this is how they look. You can't really see nothing. You see the class right there. You know, everything's like just... Everything was at the beginning stages. So this was the pre-prototypes. So you, you see like the water symbol right there and stuff like that. You know, um, pre-prototypes. Second phase you see I moved the warrior so now I'm like the warrior thing up there um, the thing the whole resistor thing has a bigger space everything looks a lot more um, just a lot more like you could you can see a lot more like the, the attack and stuff is bigger and stuff like that and then this is the final one right here where um now this is the one that's basically going to be sorry about the lining i tried to do a game crafter had a feature called the, the lining the li liner or lining feature i tried it and it, um, i don't like it that much though but anyways though you see like this is the finished product though minus the the liner feature um, you see you got the air symbol right there. It tells you that this card is the air. It has the air symbol up there now. Um, you know, it has the resistor. Then on this side it says hero. And, you know, like, my cards are... I mean, this is... I'm trying to make it as great as I can um, for y'all guys. And, you know, like, I do know, like, it, it, it went a long way from this I came a long way from that you, you know from this you know I came a long way a very long way and um I don't know he just kept bashing me about that but I didn't think my cards like he he did say one good thing though he did say one good thing he was like Lee, my cards do look professional but it's still the the simple fact that it kind of like bash the the my game, you know. They they kind of bashed it in a way that I wouldn't have thought that somebody would do. Like it didn't feel like helpful advice or anything like that. Like I said, he basically told me even if I had like a perfect game to not to like uh that it wouldn't 
it wouldn't sell. It wouldn't it wouldn't sell because nobody likes trading cards. And I'm like, that's not true. A lot of people like trading cards. You know, he just didn't like trading cards, apparently. But I just wanted to let y'all guys know that kind of got under my skin as far as that. Like, it really got under my skin. Um, you know, like, because I didn't know the industry was full, filled with people like that. Like, why would you even want to speak to me if straight off the bat you were going to have negativity and then turn around and say if you want us to back you we will still back you and it was just it just hurt hurt my feelings a little bit and I know that business is um business is like that like um but it shouldn't be like it shouldn't be like um I guess misleading you know like just you know you shouldn't be misleading and that's how I kind of felt like that's what it was really about was misleading you know me to believe that you know I guess I was really out there trying to go get some advice but it didn't even go that far um you know it just didn't it didn't go that far guys so I'm just letting y'all guys know that um this is my game and you know I'm 100% love my game and you know like I think the game too like another thing that I was doing with the game is that I'm trying to also make um you know like these cards like I want these cards to be valuable collectibles and not just um you know just regular cards and that was another problem I guess they had is that they didn't see the value in collectibles like they said once you turn a you know once you try to do a trading card game it kind of like basically it was trying to say once you have a trading card game it's destroyed you know you destroy the game by making it a trading card game cuz now you know you need more than one person to go with you. I mean, more than one person. I don't know what they were trying to say. But, you know, like, I didn't get half of... I'm so nice, guys. Like, I couldn't... Like, I didn't even think about defending myself as well as I should. Like, at the time, it just, like, it really hurted my feelings. But I didn't, like, I didn't have that negative thing to strike back. You know, like, to tell them things like but I guess sometimes you do gotta just let people talk and stuff like that and you gotta continue to do what you do because um that was that was kind of a, a, a eye opener for me actually that I just never experienced before in my life you know like as y'all guys can tell you know I'm a black guy and I'm be honest I never experienced race either so you know like so, you know, like, to go, to get off of that, though, like, to get back onto the, um, the thing, I just never experienced, like, this hardball kind of game, like, why would you want to destroy somebody just because they trying to make something, you know, like, that was something new to me, like, I just, I never been around that before until now, and I have to say, guys, it pretty hurts. <laughs> it pretty hurts. It hurts pretty bad. Now, I know I ain't got the perfect game in the world. And I got to be honest. Um, and a lot of people think, like, um, I should, like, I shouldn't talk, I guess. Like, I mean, you got to watch what you say, I guess. But at the same time, I don't want to. You know, I, I really don't. I don't want to watch what I say. I don't want to talk a certain way or act a certain way or you know, I just want to really let y'all guys, like, I just want y'all guys to really like my game for what it is. Like, it's not perfect, but I, and I hate that concept, too, that I, they constantly put me against people like, um, you know, they constantly put me against people like, um, you know, like, Magic the Gathering, and I guess I'm part to blame for that because the way how I describe my game to people, I describe it to them like, for say, like, say, Lugio, Magic the Gathering, I'd be like, 
yeah, don't you know how Lugio could do this? Well, this is somewhat like that and something like that. And then I'm like, well, like, don't you know how you do this and match it together and stuff like that? And this is that. And um, it was just like, I got to learn, I guess, how to explain because, like I said, partly that was my fault, I guess. I got to learn how to explain my game without explaining how other people game work. You know, but it's a lot easier, like, because that's the only reason why I say it, because it's a lot easier, because people already know how Magic the Gathering work. People already know how Lugio work. So wouldn't it cut the time in half for me to just be like something like that? You know, like, just, but, and again, though, like I said, like, I realized that that was a big mistake. And, um, otherwise, like, they, I mean, I ain't gonna say they said all bad things about me. They did say one, they did basically say only one good thing. One good thing is that I had amazing artwork and amazing, like, the cards looked in amazing they looked at like the part they could tell that I was trying to be a production company and not trying to do this for fun and I, I appreciate that I think that like because that was the only like good thing they said but as far as everything else it was like they just like wanted to destroy me for some reason and it, you know like I'm kind of smart I ain't gonna say I'm a genius but I I know like when somebody's criticizing you and then when somebody just trying to just destroy you to like I don't know what the goal was to like give up make me give up like I mean I ain't gonna get too much into it but yeah they wanted me to do board games they said that that was a better a better um, thing to invest in instead of trading cards they was like just turn your trading cards into a board game somehow but I'm not going to get too much into that because um, it just, a lot of negativity came from um, that place. And it wasn't like bad, you know, like, because I sat down and I played a game with them and I did all that. And they was like, my game was complicated and stuff like that. But at the same time, I sit down and I play their game. Their game was just as equally as complicated as my game. I'm just guessing that they were just more into their game than they were into my game. Of course, as you listening to what I'm saying, you be like, of course they were into their game as more as uh, more than my game. But it was to the point where uh, it was just like, you know, like, they said that they could back me up and stuff like that, but I don't know. I didn't feel much warmth there as far as that. Um, it took me overnight to realize that, like, it just was unsettling. The whole night, I just I couldn't sleep, actually, over it because, you know, like, I did put in so much work, so much work into this game, so much effort. Just to have somebody just come along and just say, like, oh, this isn't even, like, good enough. Like, they, like, it's not even, like, it's not even, like, they didn't even give me a A for effort. It's just, like, completely crap. You know, like, completely crap. Like, do my stuff look like completely crap? Like, to y'all guys, like, I'm asking, like, a... A legitimate question. Do y'all guys look... Do it look completely crap to y'all guys? I mean, I put in some some hard work here. Like, for me, I, I thought I did. And then, um... To have somebody tell you that your work is not good enough. Like, I can see if they be like, Oh, yeah, you, you getting there. You just need a little bit more time. Just keep trying. Like... No, they just said it was completely garbage. I should just re redo the whole thing over and turn it into something else. So you know, like that 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 just kind of uh, that kind of like messed me up right there. And another thing before I go is that I have a saying. Um, yeah, this is something that I thought of. I. 
And y'all guys can take it as a quote. But, well, it's too long to be a quote. But, say this, guys. Like, um, a lot of people are like, why won't you make an easy game? Well, this is why I will not make an easy game. Is because, say if I gave you a deck of playing cards. And I mean actual playing cards. You know, like the Ace, the Deuce, the Joker, the King. You know, like say if I gave you a, extra, a, a poker cards. Say if I gave you a deck of poker cards, right? And I asked you, what did you want to play? Did you want to play Goldfish or something like Tuck or Spades? Most people are going to say they want to play Tuck or Spades because Goldfish... It's easy. It really is. Goldfish is easy to play. But at the same time, it's not fun to play that well as much as something like Tunk or, you know, Spades or, you know, whatever you play. Um, you know, uh, what's the I Declare War? You know, uh, so that's my reason for not making such an easy game. Because I feel like if I make an easy game... Would you really play it? You know, that's a question to ask. Would you really play it if it was that easy of a game? So, that's where I leave my thoughts off as as uh, for y'all guys. Thank y'all guys for watching. Thank, thank you, Jen, for being the, uh, the model for today. I'll see y'all guys in the next short or video. Peace out.